Hi everybody, uh, probably you have seen that recently I made a post about how to make, um, how to see a, sorry, how to see a PNG into, uh, an SVG into Tkinter, and maybe I could find it somewhere, and uh, let me see, it's Okay, and well, you can find it in the description. Now I want to show another thing. I have made a program that is called Image Slider that it's derived from Image Browser. I once called this one Image Browser and now I change it in Image Browser. I, I want to show you this file if I can find it. I want to show it applied to this project of mine and maybe this version here. Okay, so you can see that uh, the first version did not resize and then I made another version somewhere. And and let me find it. I made a bit of version here. It's a little messy all around here. There it goes. Maybe it's this one. Okay, image slider, and as you can see, I got these images. And now, when I resize, because everything is fine, fine, okay, can resize it. But, um, and so this is the first version. You see it, and you can put PNG images and so on. Then I thought it could be nice to have, instead of images in PNG files, I could use uh, SVG so that, you know, when I resize them, it will be more, more nice. The images will be nicer to see. And I call it SVG slider. So let me I got just two images here, slides one and slides two. And these are actually, you see that, apart from some strange thing here, when, when it's very little, it's very, you see, it seems to work fine. So I got this slide one and slide two all in SVGs, and I want to show you that they are actually SVG. Here they are. They're just 3 kilobytes and I think that is they occupy less space than the PNG as you can see here we got mm, 559 kilobytes instead of 3 kilobytes. So I think this is very nice. So starting from showing PNGs and then this one and then showing SVGs. I think this has been a good improvement. And so, and I use by the way uh, Inkscape that is a free tool to make images and let me just try with another one slide 3 this is S this is SVG that 
particularly they are translated into into a PNG every time but the source code is an SVG and here if I go properties and go in re I redimension here the page okay now let me save it as slide 3 zero, zero, 003 get into it go here let me close this one and launch it but one two and three okay quite nice and uh, let me see how it's the weight okay this one is a little 12 kilobyte because I put something more in it but if I just write text I will not waste any any space here I can also of course uh, import images and this will be a little more will occupy a little more space uh, see 31 kilobyte but it's it's always good so at least when you will not have images but just text for example it will occupy less space than a PNG that will occupy always hundreds of kilobytes and then it has also the advantage to be very very clear when we resize it there it is okay this is an image so it's not it's not that clear as you can see you see some scaling here because it's an image and it's and I made it not so not so big here but because this is an image but if I make it with the with shapes here can make the same thing with sort of okay if I use something like this and I'm just making just for demonstration here nothing nothing so incredible so for example I could try to imitate Okay, it's just an example, right? Something really rough. Okay, and if I save this, I will I will save some memories. You see, it's fourteen. It's the fourteen instead of thirty-one. And if I go and You see, it's just change it here the image, good. And you see, when you not being an image, this one, it will be, it will resize more nicely without scaling. And so I think this is pretty, pretty nice how I did it. It was. I use it peel to transform the S um, to load images.
to transform the SVG into PNG, I use SVG lib, and then I use it report lab. So this is what this does is in this window we get our object that is this list box here and this canvas here. Then I use insert files this this one to load all the SVG in the folder and then when we after that we have the um, the show image this function is triggered when I select one of these you see or when I reconfigure the window of changing the size so when I select or move um, change the size of the window it will call this function here where they get the file name of the item that I select that is selected and then it transform it in a, the SVG into a PNG then open it with image from PIL resize it and then uh, transform it in a in a form that it that is compatible with the Kinter here with this line of code here get the width and sides and uh, make the canvas change the sides accordingly to the uh, to the image and then it prints the image and with this root dot bin configure each time that the window changes sides it will call back this function uh, get again the the width and the height of the of the root and because you can see here in resides it will resides the window as the root uh, calling this function get window sites it will go here get the okay I can get rid of this it's not useful get the root um, width and height and uh, then return it here so that it will resize the the image like the root and then the canvas like the image that is like the root and so they will all uh, reshape as the window is okay so when I go here when I click it call show image when I resize it, it call show image and get the window sides and makes the canvas and the image looks the same with the same height and weight and uh, and height so that you can make it as you want it and place it wherever you want in your you know in your window if you are making a presentation and you can place it everywhere and how you want it for example like this and I think this is okay you see you could put this one here to make some presentations and right this is the code. I made another post where I explain how to transform PNG and SVG and I think that is quite everything for now. I think this is a good improvement for my image browser uh, that now I called uh, SVG browser but I left two posts for the two version for the version that uses PNG and the one that uses SVG in case you prefer one or the other. Thank you and see you next time.